Hello and welcome. Today we are going to load a roll of 35mm film into the Practica LTL 35mm camera. But first a word on how to unload the film. As you are shooting and advancing, you will see the number of exposures indicated right here in the exposure window. As you're getting towards the end of your roll, be mindful of the amount of pressure you're putting on the advance mechanism because at some point you're going to take a picture and you try to advance it and it's going to stop and it won't go the, all the, the, the full way. Um, and at that point, do not apply pressure. Don't force it. Just put the um, advance lever back into its rest position. Flip the camera up. Press that button right there. This button disengages the mechanism which prevents film moving backward so that it will now allow you to retract the film into the, um, uh, into the take up spool or from the take-up spool into the cartridge, rather. Uh, and I'm gonna do that simply by deploying this crank right here, like so, and rewinding the film into the cartridge. You will feel the film going to the cartridge. You will feel the film release from the take-up spool. Uh, and once that happens and it's released, um, and then uh, all the film is back in the, in the cassette, and you can open the back of the camera and remove the film. So, now we're going to actually load the film into the camera. The first thing we're going to do is open the back of the camera. And you do this in this camera, like many others of the period, by simply pulling up on the rewind knob right here. So as I pull up on the rewind knob, it will release the catches here and open up the back of the camera, like so. Got it? Okay, let's do that again. Got it? Open up and ta-da, there we go. That's it. It's open. Okay. Now, I've opened the back of the camera. You notice that as I pull this up and down, you'll see that there is a, a mechanism with a fork here. That is going to mate with an opposing part here on this side of the, of the film cartridge. But in order to insert the film cartridge, I need that up and out of the way. Insert the film cartridge or cassette. And now replace the knob. Make sure that it's mated properly. Very good. And now what I'm going to do is pull this leader. This is called the leader, this part of the film. I'm going to pull this across the back of the camera. Um, unlike most 35 millimeter SLRs of the period, you don't insert the, the leader into a, into a slit in the take-up spool. That's how most cameras of the period worked, not this one. This has a unique um, safe loading or quick loading system. It's supposed to be more foolproof and, and um, reliable uh, in securing the film leader to the take-up spool. So um, what we're going to do is pull the leader across. It needs to go behind this notch right here. It needs to mate with the teeth of this gear here. Uh, those teeth need to be protruding through these perforations and the edge of the film leader needs to uh, reach this green mark right there. And if I do all those things, then I should be able to load the film fairly easily. Okay, so pull this across. Actually, hold on, before I do that, before I do that, let's make sure that the wires of the take-up spool are in the proper position. So you see there's this wire and there's another one on the other side. Um, yeah, two wires. And these wires are gonna spin around and grab the film. But in order to get that process started, I need to load, I need to, to rest the film on top of the take up spool. And it can't, and I can't do that if the wire is in this position. I have to, I have to have the wires to the side. So you will see that the bottom part of the take up spool is serrated. That is so that your thumb can move the mechanism like so. Okay. So I need one wire on that side, one wire on that side that's lying flat. That is in the, that's in the proper position. So now I can take the film, put it behind this little notch right there, and make sure that it aligns properly with the teeth of, here we go. All right, so I've got, all right, let's see what we got here. If you can see this, okay. So, there. I've got the film behind this notch. You can see the teeth of the gear are through this perforation. 
the edge of the film leader reaches the green mark and what should happen is these wires should flip over, grab the film, and secure it to the take-up spool. So, release the shutter, excuse me, oh shoot, the shutter release mechanism is here, very good, and we need to, invent. all right, you see the wire coming over, just grab the film, excellent, all right, let's, let's, do, one, let's do that again just to demonstrate. Okay, where's the shutter release mechanism? Here it is. Dunk on it. Oh, here it is. And there you go. All right, there you have it. Now you've got the film is obviously securely fastened in the camera. You see that the film is going straight across the back of the camera. It is positioned between these two things called guide rails, which is where it's supposed to be. I can see the, the teeth of this mechanism protruding through the perforations as they should be. I can see the end, the, the edge of the, uh, the film leader wrapped securely around the take-up spool, which is what I want. So now I'm going to close the back of the camera and advance one more time. And you, you should see this rotate as I advance the film. Okay. Take exposure. Watch this. Very good. Okay. That means when you see that rotate, that means that the film is properly secured and is traveling normally across the back of the camera. And that is it. That's all there is to it. We've now loaded a roll of film into our Practica LTL. Uh, I believe the loading instructions I've just given you are consistent with almost all Practica SLRs of the 1970s, I think, although this is the only one I've, I've owned. I, my, my, my understanding is that the loading mechanism that uh, uh, this camera uses was common to just about every Practica SLR of the period. Um, I think that's true. Anyway, if the, well, put it this way, open up your Practica. If it looks the same as the one that I just showed you, you can use the, uh, you can use the method that I just showed you. All right. That's all I got for you today. I hope you found this video helpful, useful, amusing, entertaining, something like that. If so, please do like, subscribe, and as always, check out the links down below. Thank you now. Bye-bye.